Good Monday morning. Say you have a job that is making you unhappy, but you're keeping it around because the people around you, like friends and family, keep telling you that it is valuable. Then you urgently need to tell those people to stop telling you that, or if that is not possible, you need to stop spending time with them. That is the topic of amusing that I would like to make today. I am MPJ and you are watching Fun Fun Function. Mm. I'm very tired today. I I have a feeling that this episode is going to be a little, little bit sleepy. I hope that's okay. Two years back, I made a video titled Losing Motivation. You can find it by clicking there. And a few days ago, I got a comment on it that uh, touched me. <laughs> I, got, I got pretty emotional about it. And uh, I would like to read it to you. I guess nobody reads comments so much time after a video release, but I kind of work with something I used to like very much, uh, but I lost my motivation, interest at some point. I can't really remember when, but I guess I can remember why. I guess someday a poor brain abusive boss I had was pushing me so much for no reason I could understand that I thought I would just get and go away. Rationally thinking, I could do that. I had some money to live for some reasonable time without affecting my life so much. But, but then I thought, well, I have my plans which are not urgent but will not complete by themselves without money coming in. And that felt heavier than I thought it would. Later, talking to my family, they pointed out uh, I work in a very recognized company and that uh, was some status I could lose. And I actually didn't and don't care, but as I talked to people, I realized that they felt that was important and maybe they were judging me. So this status thing started to get heavier too. Unemployed status would now feel like a very bad thing only those lazy jerks in school would feel comfortable with. I mean, I started other projects and this helped me keep uh, holding on because I have an extra option to feel realized and competent. I feel I'm losing my time from 7 to 7 every workday. <laughs> 7 to 7, that's, that's long workdays. Uh, I would rather be at home getting more prepared for a bigger, harder challenge, which I actually feel I could face if I get some time to be prepared. About my other 12 hours, I take a couple for home stuff, 6 for sleep, 2 hours for commuting, which leaves me with 2 hours uh, free every day. Uh, which I know should use it better, but I feel so tired and so frustrated that I can't really make it useful. Then there are weekends, which I have my personal projects and family stuff to do. When I see it's already Monday, and I feel very, very sad that I can't get more out of what I do. The saddest part is that I, I know that I should leave my job, but I fear the consequences and the risks, not only for myself, but for my plans and my family. I don't blame my company for paying me to do my job, but I also think that my uh, payment uh, over has overthrown my pleasure for coding. I guess it's that adult thing that we see our parents sad with and we can't really understand why and until it happens to us. And oh, I found this comment to be really heartbreaking. I won't spend this video on giving you, the commenter, specific advice because I think that I, I don't know you and if you reach down into yourself, you know yourself a lot better than I and you probably know what to do about your situation if you really just think about it. That said, I'm going to spend this video talking about two things. First, I'm going to encourage you to uh, curate your social circle a little bit because you need to uh, get rid of some people in your social circle or uh, get them to behave um, in a different manner. The second thing is that I I want to spend some time uh, instilling a sense of urgency in you about this situation. Uh, that this is actually a problem that you need to start dealing with right now. Um, because your situation is very likely to uh, get worse over time. <clears throat> so let's first talk about 
the fact that you have people in your life that are encouraging you to stay at a job that you don't find rewarding. When you have people in your life that are doing this, you, you really need to ask them to stop doing that. And if they uh, don't respect that ask, uh, then you need to start spending less time with them, perhaps none at all. I totally recognize that that is a lot easier said than done. Um, it's, it's easier if it's acquaintances and friends, um, but a lot harder if it's uh, family, especially de depending on your culture. And if it's, um, if it's a spouse, that's even trickier. But just know that this, this is important and uh, you need to figure this out. So hopefully you can work it out with them, but it might, it's also good to recognize that uh, you do have more control in the situation than you might not think. Like people do break up contact with close family members all the time and 40% of marriages do end in divorce. Again, hopefully you don't have to break up with anyone. Uh, hopefully they will listen to you and respect your ask. But if they don't, uh, you do have options. People do this all the time. I know that this might sound a bit extreme, but I think that this is super important because you will be bound by the values that are expressed by the people that you surround yourself with. And if, if those values are not in line with what you the values that you have internally, so to speak, then these people might very well be slowly killing you. And that's a big thing to say, um, but let me explain my reasoning. The people that you spend a lot of time with, so you know, friends, family, uh, co-workers, uh, life partners, these people will dictate or, or at least very heavily influence how you live your life. As humans, when we talk and interact with each other, we constantly express values to each other. If you pay attention to yourself when you're uh, having a dialogue or talking with uh, another human being, you will r notice that there is a lot of this going on. We chat about things that we care about in order to figure out what is important to the people around us. And it makes a lot of sense that we do this because we want to behave in a way that makes us valuable and important to the people around us. We want to be needed and we want to be liked. So if most people around you express that they value highly uh, the position that you hold in a company like this prestigious job, you are, your behavior is eventually going to fall in line with that whether you want it or not. What I want to drive home here is that you can't resist or ignore this pressure. I mean, you can to a certain degree. Uh, if, for instance, let's say that you have family dinners once or twice a year, then sure, you can just brush that off. But if you have people expressing this constantly in all social circles you move in, then it's eventually going to get to you. Sooner or later, you're going to start behaving according to them. And this, of course, isn't bad on its own. It's great that we keep the needs of other people in mind and, and behave accordingly. But if these values are not in line with your own internal values, if they are not really compatible, then we have a problem because it's, it's going to wear on you. And if these values are something that you are exposed to at, uh, at say work, like a huge chunk of your time on a daily basis, then that is going to grind you down. You're going to break. I actually made a video on that specific topic that you can find by clicking there. I also wanna stress that I'm, I'm not suggesting here that work should be entertaining to you or something like that. I am totally of the opinion that a job is fundamentally about being of service to other people. That's what a job is. A job is not supposed to function like a computer game or, or a book or a hobby. Those are there to entertain and, and uh, service you. 
but, 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 uh, a job needs to give you a couple of things besides money in order for you to feel good about it. What those things are is a completely different topic and I won't dive into that in this video, but uh, according to self-determination theory, they are competence, autonomy and relatedness. You can check out a video about uh, self-determination theory there. It's really, really interesting. A tricky thing is that the people around you uh, that are expressing that you should keep your prestigious job they they mean very well like that's well intentioned of them they want to keep you safe but it is still very important that you get them to stop doing this because what they are in practice doing is jailing you into a situation uh, that is slowly poisoning you possibly if the situation is bad, even to death. I don't talk too much about my personal life on this, uh, this channel, but in my teens, I had uh, a very close family member of mine uh, commit suicide. One per of the particular many ways it has affected me is that I am very aware that depression is a deadly disease. It is not uncommon that a depression kills you. So the way I approach a mood is that if I have a longer period in my life where I'm where I'm, that I'm not feeling good about, it is it's very urgent that I deal with that. That is not something that you can procrastinate on. Fixing your depression is its not something that uh, you can wait out or put off. I personally feel like we as a culture uh, over-trivialize the problem of feeling unhappy at work. The way I personally see it, uh, and I'll, almost all of the stuff in this video is my personal opinion, so keep that in mind, is that if you are unhappy at work for a long time, that is going to lead to depression because your job, that's just too big a chunk of your time. And that depression, if left untreated, might very well kill you. So these people around you that are encouraging you to keep your prestigious job, they, they mean well. They're not sinister, they, they want to keep you safe. The way they view it is that if you have a good job, you can pay your bills, you, you can buy food, you're not going to be living on the street. And this is why it's so hard to ask them to stop uh, or to uh, stop spending time with them if that doesn't work. Because you know that they mean well, but you still, you still really need to do that because a, a well-paying and prestigious job is worth absolutely nothing if that job is slowly melting your mind. That's my thoughts on that. I hope it was useful to someone. If you have any thoughts on this, uh, you can write a comment down below or um, if you're a patron, you can uh, check out this dedicated discussion thread uh, for this episode on the Fun Fun Forum. If you are new to this channel, then welcome. You have just watched an episode of Fun Fun Function. I release these every Monday morning, 0800 GMT. If you are forgetful, you can subscribe here so that you don't miss it. Uh, or you can just check out another episode right now by clicking here. I am MPJ, until next Monday morning, stay curious.